Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for Friday, February 26. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This morning for our devotion, what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to listen to the prayer, and you're invited to pray through it. Um, it's called the Litany. It's a prayer that's used in evening prayer. Um, we used it in our midweek Lenten services on Wednesday. So I'm going to go to the recording of Vicar chanting it and the congregational's response. Um, and then after we pray through the Great Litany, I will uh, have a um, couple of devotional thoughts on that. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all pastors in Christ, for all servants of the church, and for all the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our public servants, for the government and those who protect us, that they may be upheld and strengthened in every good deed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who work to bring peace, justice, health, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who bring offerings, those who do good works in this congregation, those who toil, those who sing, and all the people here present who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruit of the earth, and for peaceful, peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the faithful who have gone before us and are with Christ, let us give thanks to the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all the saints, let us commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. And I hope I did that right so you're able to hear that audio and now you're able to hear me um, speaking again. I'm going to walk through those petitions that we just prayed. <clears throat> For the peace from above and for our salvation. Uh, the peace that exists only because of the blood of Christ and what he has done for us. We cry out, Lord, have mercy. But not just for us, we continue. For the peace of the whole world. And what follows up on that is the well-being of the church of God. We, we say that, that peace in the world is good for the church of God. It's good for the proclamation of the gospel and for the unity of all. This is none other than Jesus prayed in his high priestly prayer in John chapter 17 that there would be real unity, unity not based on agreeing to disagree, but unity based on his truth. We cry out that Lord would have mercy. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. We do confess faith in the one holy Christian and apostolic church. We acknowledge that all believers in Christ Jesus are united into one family. But this specific prayer 
is for those who gather at St. John's or at Reformation or whatever it is that your home church is. Wednesday night, we prayed that, that God would bless brothers and sisters who take time away from the busyness of this world to gather in his holy house and to receive from him good and abundant gifts. Lord, have mercy on us all. For all pastors in Christ, for all servants of the church, and for all the people, let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, give to your under shepherd strength. O Lord, continue to send out workers into your harvest field. O Lord, bless all those who serve in the church, and by extension, all people. As we continue to pray for a pastor at Reformation, as we continue to pray for a pastor at St. John's, as we continue to remember Pastor Martin in our prayers as we look for servants in our in our school, our early childhood ministry. Lord, have mercy on us. For our public servants, for the government and those who protect us, that they may be upheld and strengthened in every good deed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Romans chapter 13. Uh, Paul tells us what our uh, relationship is to be to the governing authorities. Paul urges a young pastor named Timothy to pray for governing uh, authorities and all those in leadership over us, that we would ask that the Lord would bless those who serve us, those we disagree with and those we agree with, that the Lord would uphold them in their powerful work, that he would strengthen them in every good deed. Lord, have mercy on us all. For those who work to bring justice, peace, health, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Here I remember our firefighters, our police officers, those who serve in medical fields, those who go in places where we can't go, those who served in armed forces, those who work at night while I sleep comfortably in my bed. Lord, have mercy on them. For those who bring offering, those who do good works, those who toil, those who sing, and all people here present who will wait from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Here we acknowledge that there are plenty of people who go above and beyond in service to the church. We also acknowledge those who come to church and their presence there waiting God for God and his abundant mercy, his mercy which is new every morning, every last one of us in the body of Christ. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, abundance of the fruit of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Yes, Lord, <clears throat> we know this snow that has been sent will provide necessary moisture for the for the farmers this spring. We thank you for it. Lord, we know that that cold weather achieved a good purpose, but let us thank you also for 40 degrees and sun. Let us hear the birds chirping and look forward to those days for peaceful times. Much more enjoyable to hang out with those you love in times of peace. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need. Lord, have mercy. He knows our need. And we're bold to ask him, deliver us from it. Deliver us from all evil. Lord, have mercy. For the faith who have gone before us and are with Christ, let us give thanks to the Lord. I think about those when we sing in the liturgy with all the saints on earth and the host of heaven. We name before the Lord those who have gone before us and now rest from their labors. They are with Christ. For that, let us give thanks to the Lord. Rejoice in the fellowship of all the saints. Let us commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our Lord. Lord, be with us in this time of prayer. Lord, be with us in this hour of worship. Lord, be with us as we move forward from this place. And pray that our whole lives would be to your glory. We pray with confidence as Jesus has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Then lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, our strength, the battle of good and evil rages within and around us. Our ancient foe tempts us with his deceits and empty promises. Keep us steadfast in your word. And when we fall, raise us up again. And restore us through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 
Have a blessed Friday and a blessed weekend. Lord willing, we'll see many of you in the Lord's house this weekend.